Hey guys, what is going on? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get a free bungee name change. So let's say in this case, you've changed your bungee name change to something extremely stupid and you want to revert it. Well, in today's video, I'll cover how you can do that fast and easily. Now, also, my apologies if my mic is awful. Um, I'm currently not at my gaming setup, so I don't have my professional mic. So the audio may sound pretty poor. I'm hoping it doesn't. But yeah, anyways, I'll get right into today's video. All you're going to want to do is use a browser. Now, you're going to open Google Chrome. In this case, for me, you don't have to use it. Now, you're going to want to go on stadia.google.com. Now, what you're going to want to do is click sign in. Now, you may need to create a new Google account with the account that you used. In this case, for me, I sign in with a Google Stadia account. Now, if you're wondering why I'm using a Google Stadia account, you'll see later on further in the video. But you need to make sure you agree to the terms and service. Obviously, you don't need to read it. But next, it's going to ask you to select a avatar. In this case, I'll select an avatar and scroll to the bottom. Now, this is the important part. Make your Stadia name whatever you want to make your Bungie name. So in this case, for me, I'm going to do youtube.com slash hectic, but it probably won't work because it's going to be too long as I'd imagine. So if you want a long name, do it on Steam. But in this case for me, it did not work. So I'm just going to do YouTube. And if that doesn't work, then I'll probably just end up doing alt in this case for me as that really wouldn't work anyway. Um, unfortunately, Stadia caps your name. So I'll just do alt. But yeah, now after doing that, you're going to want to click confirm and it's going to confirm your name. Now, after that, you're going to want to link your account. Now, from there, you're going to confirm the name and then choose your privacy settings. You don't want to make sure you select everything to private. Now, this is going to be fairly easy to do. I would not advise doing anything else to the public because this Stadia account is not going to be useful. You're not going to be doing anything with it. But yeah, now you're going to want to make sure you select everything private. If it does not let you confirm, in this case for me, you probably missed one setting which i did here at the top unfortunately um i have to select that to private and it will let me confirm the account now from there what you need to do is get updating emails in this case i'm saying no now it's going to say start your one month trial you can skip out of that from there just remember the stadia account that you used to sign in after that head over to bungie.net all right guys from here sign in on bungie.net with your google city account that you just created now in this case this account is a alt account it is bob builder 47 the way you're going to change it is click on your profile picture from there go to settings now it may not work sometimes and it may glitch out but it will probably bring you to identity settings the way you fix this is redo it again click settings and then go to uh it should bring you to identity settings and account linking click account linking now in this case for me you need to select your main platform now, in this case for me, I play PlayStation, so I'd sign in with my PlayStation account. Now, from there, when you log into Destiny and link your PlayStation account to your Stadia account, it will actually take off your Stadia name, so it will change your Bungie name. On top of that, you'll get the new name change. But yeah, if you guys found this video helpful or informative, hit that like button, sub, and most importantly, have a great rest of your day. And uh, yeah, if this any questions or anything, let me know in the comments. Peace.